hello everyone and this video we are going to create a thor hammer so let's start i already have created its sub parts so start from the first part i'm opening the first part this is the extrude base command so now i'm showing you the sketch now i'm defining its dimension is 200 mm in both sides and second one is 150 mm now extrude it both 150 mm and from the mid plane and now applying the chamfer at the four edges of 15 mm at 45 degree after that i am choosing a plane from any surface on the edge side up to 25 mm and draw a sketch So you can draw this sketch by convert entity and uh, make offset of 1 mm in the inside direction and create the second sketch on this plane same here you can convert entity and take offset at the distance of 14 mm and lock it base by selecting the first profile and second profile and now mirror the lock feature with the reference of center plane now extrude cut so select the front face and draw a rectangle of 1.5 mm and 2 mm height from the edge side and extrude it cut up to 1.5 mm now again mirror the extrude cut command on the second face side again applying extrude cut on the top face So for this, you have to draw a rectangle of 10 mm, and its distance from the origin is 40 mm. Again, select the second edge and draw a rectangle and extrude it cut. Now choosing a plane and mirror the extrude cut feature. Again. Select the center plane and mirror the extrude cut feature. Now again, choose the top plane and draw a circle of 35 mm and extrude it cut through all. Now again, extrude base. For this, you have to draw a sketch. Its distance is 92.9 mm from the edge. So draw three dotted line. Draw three line at the angle of 120 degree from the origin. The three lines having equal angle is 120 degree. And this diagram is drawn with the help of arc command. So select the arc and select the point first point and meet with the second point. You can like. draw this like this and uh, trim the extra entities and remaining do you have see here the remaining sketches here this is the uh, logo on the thor hammer here i am showing you the points just make the arc and trim the extra entities and the remaining sketch and defining arc radius is 34.64 you can define it with the help this radius you can able to draw the sketch Now extrude it both from the surface. Is 2 mm. And I click on OK. Now I am again going to mirror this sketch with the help of mirror command from the center of the plane. Now I am going to apply an extrude cut on the same sketch, so you can 
draw the sketch with the help of converged entities and uh, make a offset of 2 mm and 1 mm and extrude it cut up to 2 mm now the logo is created now i am going to apply appearances on it so select the appearance feature and select metal and apply any appearances on it now the base side of hammer is complete now i am saving the part i am going to draw the second part so i am opening the second part is handle so for this you have to draw a circle of 35 mm and extrude it both in two direction is one direction is 150 mm and second direction is 10 mm now applying extrude cut at any one face its diameter is 22 mm and applying a cut of 20 mm I'm going to draw a spiral helix. For this, you have to select helix command and draw a helix. Now I'm going to draw a sketch for the subcut command to create a thread. So you can simply draw a rectangle of 2mm having length it's 2mm. Now swap base the feature with the help of swap cut command. Next is extrude base. So again draw a circle at the top side is having diameter 40 mm. And extrude it both up to 2 mm. In the upper direction. Now again extrude both same diameter is 35 mm and extrude it both up to 28 mm now I'm applying extrude cut at the center of the handle having diameter 4 mm and distance is 26 mm from the ring side is having die 40 mm now linear pattern the extrude cut feature for this you have to select the pattern command and pattern it of the distance is 26 mm and select the phase for the direction now the handle is completed now i am applying appearances on the handle so i am selecting organic wood you can select any wood which color you like a number of options are available for you in the appearances feature. So I'm applying any one feature on this. Now your handle is ready. number of options here uh, teak walnut you can apply any one on the handle now save the part and start the next one part now the next part is handle base fitting part so for this you have to extrude base a circle of 80 mm and thickness is 5 mm again extrude base draw a diameter of 22 mm and extrude it base up to 20 mm now draw a helix having pitch 3 mm and revolution is 5 mm and starting angle is 90 degree 
now again draw the same profile which is drawn in the uh, last one part and apply shift cut command and ok now hide the helix now your part is ready you can apply appearances also on it and uh, save the part now start the next part the next part is the handle top end for this draw a circle of 10 m uh, 40 mm and extruded base is up to 60 mm now again apply extrude cut of diameter 38 mm and depth is 45 mm now choosing any plane again an extrude cut of 35 mm diameter and 5 mm deep now select any plane and draw an ellipse its height is 33.75 and uh, width is 15 mm defining its length is 15.56 now extrude it cut through wall now applying fillets on its edges of 10 mm again select fillet command and applying fillet 10 mm now extrude cut from the bottom side for this draw rectangle of 30 mm and 3 mm height from the edge side and 5 mm its width and extrude cut it through all now jump to the next part so this is handle fitting ring i created it with the help of revolve base command so draw this sketch uh, draw a line of 2 mm and uh, draw again line at 95.71 degree and slightly take it 0.35 and again draw so now revolve it base from the center of axis now the part is ready the next part is handle grid the handle rope you can call it so i created this with the help of spline feature and the line command so draw a line and take a free diagram with the help of spline feature now extrude it both with the help of extrude thin command so giving it thickness is 4 mm and the part is ready i am going to apply appearances on it select black color now jump to the next part this is the grip for the handle this is also created with the help of revolve base command up to 33 degree this is uh, draw a line from the center of axis and create first part and now choosing the plane opposite to it now again draw the same sketch I'm here showing you I'm created it uh, the first part on the front plane and the second one on the right plane both are created with the help of uh, revolve base command this uh, dimension of the both revolve command are same 2.50 and 0 0.50 thickness and distance from the center of the origin is 17.50 so both this sketch having same dimension you can also check it height 
is 2.50 and the wall width base up to 33 degree toward the piece direction now applying the loft base command so select the first edge and second base and lofted base and complete this part with the help of mirror command now all the part are created now i'm going to assemble the thaw hammer so for this select the all parts which have you created and open in assembly drop one by one okay now our parts are available here now i'm going to assemble these parts so for this first of all you have to select the mate command and select anyone circle and select concentric mate you can rotate it if it's in going wrong direction again showing you select mid command and select the uh, second circle and select concentric feature ok I'm rotating the part and select the mid command select the outer edge of the circle and select the handle circle and applying concentric mate the next mate is con uh, coincident mate now the handle is fitted with the handle rod now I am fixing the grip for this select its uh, diameter select the ring face and the handle face and applying concentric mate now uh, linear pattern the body so select the linear pattern and select the body and select the direction in which you want to pattern the body so move it in downward direction and the remain its direction is uh, distance is 26.10 now and the top grip fix it on the top select concentric mate and after that applying coincident mate the next part is handle fitting ring so select the fitting diameter and handle diameter and applying concentric mate on it I am reducing the number of rings uh, I think which, is, uh, which are extra here now I am going to fix the ring yeah, select the concentric mate rotate it Now fix it on the handle. The top face of the hammer. Now the next part is handle strip. So select the mate command again and applying advanced mate. Here I am applying width mate. So select the first face and second face of the component select the second phase of the second component and apply ok now weight mate is applied here now I am moving the component yeah. fix the handle grip again select the mate command and apply constant command now the handle grip is fixed click on ok uh, now your assembly is ready you can see your hand for hammer is ready 
I'm changing the appearance of the top fitting. Applying polished steel fitting on it. I'm changing its background for a good appearance. You can see that a number of appearance, background appearance are available in SOLIDWORKS. So you can apply anyone in which your product is looking good. Now you can see that the Thor ML is now ready.